Hello, everyone. Welcome back to episode 37 of the Gilded City 2, The Lost Kingdom. Um, I hope you're excited to see the uh, uh, body swap storyline continue. Um, if you are, let us know down in the comment section below. Leave us a like, subscribe here to the YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you would, if you're a podcast listener, how you doing? Uh, leave us a review, a rating, uh, tell your friends, um, all of that good stuff. Uh, and also follow us on social media for everyone at Rollers Guild D and D on Threads, Instagram, and TikTok. Um, not that any of those accounts are super, super active, but we at least try to post the threads and the Instagram when a new episode goes up. So, you know, there's that. Um, but with that all being said, we will go ahead and dive on in to tonight's episode. Content warning. Ravenloft is a setting, can feature disturbing themes and ideas, and while it is never going to be our intention to upset anyone, it is worth noting. Specific tags can be found in the description of this episode. Last time, the party journeyed to Skardamp Mines to investigate the reason why the mine's supply of ore had stopped being delivered. Upon arrival, they greeted the operator of the mine, who promised to escort them to the mine shaft. However, upon arrival to the mine shaft, he revealed the truth that he and several of the other miners had been turned into giant toad like creatures called Slotty. One of them mentioned that the party would be good sacrifices to Gotulmash. After slaying the Slotty, the party decided to go check on the remaining miners before venturing into the mines. So, um, you all have sort of walked back down the path towards the shacks that the miners have sort of been living in. Um, you see, as you approach, a few of the miners who were outside, like, push, quickly rush into their shacks and, like, shut the doors, uh, but there's one who's sort of standing in the middle of the road and can't get back to his shack in time, and he just sort of stands there on the road, and he, like, picks up his pickaxe, and he's, like, shaking, he says, stay back! Stay back! Uh, what? You transformed the boss into that horrible monster! Please, don't, don't turn me into a horrible monster! Oh, he did that himself. <clears throat> no, what? friend, it seems that you may have that a little backwards, um, Sorry for the inconvenience. Um, those weren't really your friends. Not really. They tried to kill us. You saw. I, I, I don't know what I saw. I saw the boss kicking you all in the mind, and then suddenly the boss and 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 Timothy and the others were just giant toads. Have you? Yeah, mm -hmm. I do yep. see how that that does not look great. Um. Okay, have they been acting weird at all recently? Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Six. Great. 
should I know? I'm just, I was just hired two months ago. I barely, barely got to know them. It's yeah. not like the boss eggs around with me. <clears throat> well, Fair. they were um, magic users, it would seem. So. I don't like that. that you don't want them around. Make a, make a, you make a persuasion check for me. 22. 22. <laughs> they told us back in the city that magic wasn't real. Hey, how else do you explain what just happened, right? I... All right, let's say I believe you. Okay. Let's say I believe you. Why, why are you coming back here? We like to, well, first, make sure you aren't about to turn into a toad and try to kill us. Second, we like to make sure that <clears throat> people are safe. That's kind of what we do, what we're known for. Make, are you um, safe? Make another persuasion check for me. Natural one. <laughs> Good. Blood drips from my hands, as I oh. say. Does anyone have calm emotions? Um, I do. <laughs> he his like pickaxe comes up higher again. Ooh. Um, do you cast calm emotions? Yes. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. what is the save on that? Uh, charisma seventeen. All right. Well, that's a fifteen on the die, so that is a success. And he, I, I don't understand what's going on here. I don't know. Who's Come in here. charge now? No, don't touch. No, get off of me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know this is a really weird thing. Believe us. We don't really understand what's going either, but we were sent by Dr. Mordenheim to look into the ore situation, and we think something's going on with the ore, so we're just going to go in really quick, make sure there's not any other frog people around, and we just wanted to come out here to make sure that no one out here was going to turn out into a frog because we don't want to have to deal with more frogs after we're already in the cave dealing with other frogs. Make That's a persuasion true. check for me. What's my persuasion? It's like plus 15 or plus something 15. ridiculous. Plus 15? Something ridiculous like that. 30. <laughs> uh, he drops the pickaxe. He's just like, plus, it's just been so stressful recently after the monsters attacked and they I killed know. all those guys. And I know. Extrapolate on that? Elaborate on what you just said there? Well, yeah, they killed a bunch of guys. Not everyone made it out of the mine when the monsters attacked. And what do you know what, did monsters? you see what the monsters looked like? They were, I don't know, they were weird. They were all sorts of weird monsters. There was, I was, I was in, when we broke through the back wall of the mine shaft and discovered the cavern, it goes in this room with these like big statues in it and I and a couple other guys were in there while some of the other miners went a little deeper in to investigate and then we heard shouting from down the tunnel and some of the miners came running out not all of them not all not all of them that we went deeper in uh, came running out but they were shouting they were running out I was confused, stunned, I didn't know what to do, and then there was this big floating head with a one giant eyeball and these oh. huge teeth and a bunch of little eyeballs at the end of this hair, and it fired lasers from the uh, other eyeballs and killed a couple of the other miners and I just started running with everybody else trying to get out of there. You did the right thing. Now, listen, this is very important. 
Do you know anyone that may have been bitten or hit or scratched by this that got out of the mine? Um, there's, um, it, every, everybody who made it out who was injured, they're, they're over in, in, in that shack over there. Amazing. Um, okay, we're going to go pay him a little visit and we're just going to do a little wellness little check. Yeah. And listen, it's totally fine. I had it done on me because I got a little scratch and then there was something weird about it. So my friend did a spell and now I'm all better and your friends are going to be all better too. Okay. Okay. Um. By the way, you sense that like the, that level of his agitation, that was with the calm emotions. So you cannot imagine how much more ratcheted up he would be right now without the calm emotions. Can I just do a quick check on him and just make sure he doesn't have any scratches or anything? Yeah, go ahead and make a medicine check for me. Medicine. Oh, you have good medicine, Alina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a 25. 25. Yeah, you do a quick once over. I mean... You know, he, he he has a couple bruises, he has a couple of, like, scrapes, but nothing that looks like the sort of claw marks, uh, the claw mark wounds um, caused by the slotty. Right. So. Um, you all make your way over to the uh, hut that was identified as sort of the, the place where everybody's injured is. Um, this young man who sort of met you in the road come goes ahead of you inside and says like look the visitors they're they're not responsible for what happened to the boss um they say they can help um heal everyone uh and you're all let in um you see like there's a you know few people in like cots um nursing like various wounds and injuries um, and then, like, one or two people sort of in better shape, still a little injured, injured, but in better shape, who are sort of doing their best to administer to them. But, I mean, these are all minors. Nobody here has any training in sort of medicine. Um, they bandaged up wounds as best as they can, but, you know, again, nobody's a doctor here. Let's we'll just go around one by one and just take a look at everyone, see Great. who's infected, who's fine. Yeah, go ahead and make a um you make a medicine check for me to determine that. Well, they're um helping everyone. Well, well can I play a little ditty to make everyone feel a little bit better? Sure. Is that something I can do? Do I just yeah. roll for performance? Yeah, roll a performance check for me. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay. Um with the medicine check, I'll say with a 12, you are not 100% sure who it, whose injuries were caused by the slotty and whose injuries were just from being in a very stressful situation. Um, but you identify six that were maybe caused by the slotty. So that's five lay on hand points to cure them of the disease each. Um, so, just to let you know. How long ago did this attack happen? Um, you don't actually have a firm time frame on when that happened. It's implied to be relatively recently. Um, it's in, like, the last two weeks, I want to say, because he didn't think that there had been enough time for... The latest uh, message. Which is not tech. Well, you don't actually know how the right. slotty disease works. So let me cut myself off before I reveal more oh. than I should. But um, reveal your secrets. Uh, and then you got an 18 on the performance check, Zuzu. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You pull out Artemis's uh, loot and just start like plucking away at it and find yourself like instinctually knowing how to play it uh for you know you seem to have inherited artemis's skills um 
And yeah, you play a very nice, like lovely little little tune that sort of just to keep everyone calm. Can I play lo-fi beats to heal slash relax? Lo-fi beats to heal, uh, to heal too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, as we're in this room, uh, can I just do an investigation check to see if we can find like Amy a map of the mine shaft? Maybe they've been um, charting it. I, you don't even need to make an investigation check. There's no map of the mine shaft in okay. here. Okay. So, um, are our... you are you using the lay on hands to on all six of those people or no? I mean, yeah, I guess. Okay, great. I guess I'll do it. Great, you do that. Um, as you do for three of them, as their wounds knit closed, a tadpole sparks out and fizzles in radiant energy as it dies. These were larger than the tadpoles that were in you all. Um, the tadpoles that were in the couple of you that got infected uh, were very, very tiny. The ones that pop out of these guys are probably yay long. Gross. Um, Yeah. Uh, and the first time it happens, everybody was like, oh, what the hell was that? Yep, fucked up. Uh, but now you're well, not fucked up. So, you finish the healing uh, situation and everybody there. Um, right, so... <clears throat> into the mines? Are we good? Do we wait? Um... The young man who sort of met you in the road with the pickaxe says, um, I, I can, I, I don't think anything has come in further than, you know, has any, I don't think anything's come out of the deeper caverns, so I, I can at least walk you to the back of the mines. If you really want to, but you don't have to, if you think it's going to freak you out. Well, you just heal you just, I don't know, did whatever you did to make those gross things go away. It's, that's the least I can do. Sorry, I assumed you were responsible for the toads. It's okay. okay. I mean, complete strangers came out of nowhere. You saw us with the toads. We got a lot of weapons. We look crazy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, right. Well, um, yeah. Uh, uh, follow me. Um, Can I insight check this person? Make an insight check. <laughs> we got burned once. That's, and that's, that's so true. true. Uh, 50 or 25. 25. All right. Um, yeah, he seems, you know, like he appears he seems like a young man who is seen more than uh seen more than uh he should <laughs> i'll put it that way um but he leads you all uh back the way you all came um and you know, you return to the site where you murdered the uh, slotty, and their bodies are still laying on the ground, and he sort of plugs his nose as you all uh, uh, pass by their corpses. Um, and he takes you in through sort of the, the crevice in the rock into the uh, mine itself. Um, as you enter this sort of underground tunnel, um, it very quickly gets warmer. Um, I mean, it's not warm, right? But in the way that, like, caves and underground places pretty much stay at one temperature all year round. Um, it is warmer inside the cavern than it was outside in the snow and ice. Um, but you follow these mine cart tracks, uh, deeper into the mine, um, and the young man is saying, um, yeah, uh, we've been... Um, the, well, the boss was saying, anyway, you know, they've been mining this sort of area for the, um, uh, that 
or that they need. They, I don't really know that much about it. I, I, I mind some of it, but you know, I know you're not supposed to sort of uh, be around it too long. When you get it out of the wall, you need to get pretty quickly into into a, a, a lead case. Um, but they they were saying, you know, they've mined this area for this ore for a long time because there's there's a lot of this ore um, in this area and um and the shaft was starting to run dry and you know they were they were considering sort of uh ending this shaft but they wanted to to go just a little deeper to see if um <clears throat> you know see if there was more ore to be found um and he's lighting the way by the way with sort of a a, a um an oil lantern as you go deeper and deeper into this mine shaft um, I really hope there's lead chests further in the mine because we did not bring one down to get the ore out. Uh, well, um, why would you? Why do you need ore? To prove that we we're checking out the mines for Doctor Mordenheim. And, oh know. wait, we can get a letter from the person, right? We killed that person. Oh. Who's the head of the mines now? Um, I don't know. I suppose we'll have to vote amongst ourselves. Okay. Well, yeah, there we go. Well, I Are guess we'll democratic? just... You let us know who wins so that we can get a letter from them. Well, um, my vote is for you. You've been so helpful. <laughs> and um, We I, have I, to I, stop volunteering I, people. I, 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 do do not, I do not want to be in charge. I literally started two months ago and... I was attacked by monsters. See, that's why you're so good. Because you're so fresh. No, actually, I want to quit. I don't want to be in charge. I want to go home. Well, Um, that's not the sound of a team player. You're doing a great job. Which way now? It's very understandable. It's Don't don't listen to him. I don't don't know what accent I'm doing now. (laughs) Um, you are taken, uh, uh, back deeper and deeper, and then finally, at the very sort of back of this shaft, you see, um, this large, like, crevice in, in the rock, um, and he says, uh, when, um, uh, <clears throat> when Dietrich, uh, hit right there, um, it caused the wall to sort of fall in. Um, that's beyond there is the cavern. Um, I, I'm not going to go any further. Um, it's really dark in there. Do you have, um, a light source? Yeah. Yeah. Does I, think I think Alina can do eternal flame. I don't know if you can carry that. I don't remember how the spell is pretty I can cast light. Yeah, if you cast light, you can cast it on like an object yeah. and then just carry that object and it will be I'm going to cast it on a dag, a rock. I'm going to cast it on a rock, pick okay. up a rock. Great. As you do, light shines out of it. Um uh and yeah, you you have sort of this uh, uh, 20 foot uh, radius of bright light, and then it gets dimmer further out. Um, and it sort of illuminates into the, sort of the crevice, and you see there's sort of a, a, a rope ladder has been dropped down because the crevice is not like at the ground level of the cavern beyond. Um, but you can see sort of the midsection of these statues that this that this young man has described to you. Um. Right, so how are we feeling? Do we want to just go charging in, balls to the walls? I want to do a quick investigation check to see if there's anything that I don't know, evidence of giant monsters with giant eyeballs and tentacles. Uh, yeah, I mean, before, before going in, go ahead and make an investigation check for me. 
Yeah, does, does that sound like anything any of us have ever heard of before? Um, anybody who would like to can go ahead and make, we'll call it an Arcana check. Okay, am I rolling Bowman stats for Arcana? Or... You're rolling, uh, you're rolling Nix's stat. You're rolling okay. whatever is on your current No, stat. no, I guess I'm rolling Bowman's plus zero. Yes, <laughs> yeah. correct. Uh... Uh, Nick's got a 23 for investigation. Investigation. Um, you f- do find, like, some scorch marks, like, on the wall, um, but nothing that seems like any creatures have come out of the crevice. Uh, and- it does seem like this young man was telling you the truth when he said that none of them followed beyond, sort of, the cavern. And, um, uh, Nick's got a 21 for Arcana. 21. Okay. What else did people get? Dinara got a non-natural one. Great. Already got a 14. 14. Okay. Nine. Nine. 13. 13. 11. 11. Wow. Okay. You're going to kill us, Ben. You really uh, are. Uh, 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 Bowman, uh, as, as you access Nix's brain, trying to think if this is anything you've ever heard of. It's not anything you've ever heard of, but for whatever reason, there's a little spark somewhere in Nix's brain where... I would just like to know how this works. Like, <laughs> yeah, since this... I don't remember a single damn thing. <laughs> uh, that's a great question. <laughs> um, anyway, so there's a spark somewhere in Nix's brain. Um... It's literally located in my brain, my physical brain. It's, it's, There's a one time at the library. It is an infrequently access. It is. A, it, I don't think this memory has ever been accessed by Nix. That is how I will, I will <laughs> uh, justify it. Is that Nix's um, trauma? Sure, <laughs> uh, trauma bird trauma blocked it out. Um, you, you have this like flash of a memory from Nix's life. Um, I'd say probably when Nix was, I don't know, we'll say like a te- early teens. And going to the library, because it was one of the few places where the extremely poor of Waterdeep could actually go. And thinking that it would be cool and edgy to read about <laughs> um, scary monsters and opening a book and flipping through and see o- opening opening this book um, written by uh, some guy named Volothamp um, and flipping through and finding deep in the pages this horrifying monster called a Beholder. Um, Hardly know her. Uh, this creature that's basically a giant floating head with a huge eyeball, horrible teeth, and tentacles with other eyeballs at the end of them. Um, Nix didn't read it long because the creature scared her. She slammed the book shut. Uh, but was unwilling to admit that it scared her. Um, and then as she was leaving the library, uh, there were a bunch of birds everywhere left, and she ran home. Um, <laughs> um, Bowman's going to have this realization, and it, um, I don't, I don't know much. I think the thing that were, what the miners described was a, Beholder. I'm sensing something from Nix's. It's repressed memories. It's definitely repressed memories. Um, a- after that, Nix is going to approach. Uh, Bowman's going to approach Nix and just go. If you need to talk, sometime. I mean, I'm not. We can. Uh, but there's a lot going on in here. I uh, just want to let you know that. Uh, Open book, all right? Thanks. <laughs> um, and with that, that's all I wanted to do. Great. 
<clears throat> just going to throw it out there. Uh, Penny, if you have any memories you're accessing uh, that involve taverns, colorful doors, a high-pitched laugh, just don't go through the door. Just don't go. Don't, don't, don't access that memory. You don't want to see that memory. Okay. Just in okay. case. I didn't know that we could do that. I feel like now I have to think about it. I think you do. I mean, <clears throat> it was a good time. I'm, but... I'm trying not to. Stop talking about it. And every time you talk about it, I'm thinking about it. Sorry, sorry. Really colorful door. Stop. Banners. So, uh, hey. Happy birthday, I, Artemis. Hey, um, uh, Penny, um, if you don't want to see this memory, I need an intelligence no. saving throw. No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is I want to know what this memory is. <laughs> no! What is it? Con? Intelligence saving throw. Oh. To not think about it. I get plus one on saves. It should already be accounted for. In Ugh, the whatever. If it's, a, if it's a saving throw, it's also plus five because Bowman's nearby. Yeah, I'm close. To that that was... Oh, plus five? Yeah. Plus okay, five. so it's a uh, 27. 27. Yeah. The door <laughs> flashes in your mind. You're like, no! Nope! And you keep it shut. Um, yeah. Incredible. And traumatizing. So, um, so how big is this crack in the, hall, in the wall? Oh, I mean, nobody's going to squeeze okay. to get okay. through, but you are going to have to use the rope ladder to get to climb yeah. down into the chamber. So, uh, should I throw my rock down there? Am I technically still flying? Um, I have a, I have a flashback, uh, flashback, a flashlight. Um, <laughs> I have a flash. I have a flashback. I have a flashlight. I can just flip on and just, boop, if we want. I don't know how special this rock is. It's not. Oh, okay. I just picked a rock off the ground. But the rock just... definitely won't break when it falls. That's... Okay. Well, the flashlight I, might. I have a flashlight, so we could just use that instead. Then. Um, so feel free. To it's drop. gonna break if we drop the flashlight. No, I'm saying no, I'm use gonna the drop rock. the rock into like through okay. the crack, and yeah. then it'll light up the room so we can see right. what's Maybe. beyond it. You all clamber oh. down the rope ladder one at a time, get down to the bottom. These, like I said, you you're in this huge chamber. This chamber is a lot bigger than you initially, I guess, realized. Um, the ceiling is lost way above any of you. Um, the only person who can actually see the ceiling would be um, Janara in Alina's body. Um, because Alina oh. has a longer dark vision than the rest of you. Yeah, speaking okay. of which, who, I know right now, I don't have dark vision. Does anybody else not have dark vision? I do not have dark vision. And it's very weird because I used to have really good dark vision and yeah. now I can't see shit. Yeah, so can those I, of you without dark vision can only see in the radius of the light. Can I cast dark vision on two people at the same time? Um... Well, does it say you can upcast it to get, like, read me the text. You touch a willing creature to grant it the ability to see in the dark. For the duration, that creature has dark vision out of range, out, out to a range of 60 feet. Okay. Is it, con is it, is it concentration? concentration? No. Oh, then you could cast it on two people. It's just right. two spell slots. I'm gonna, I, it's not a spell slot one. It's... Janara's oh, weird shit. Oh, <laughs> oh, man, wow. mom is so cool. Mom is so cool. Okay, Dang. so you so give dark vision I'm gonna to I'm going to give yourself. dark vision to myself and to Penny. Okay, so. This is a thing I also never use, which is sort of hilarious, because when the when we have the battle maps and it's like I can't see because of my puny vision and I never think to cast it. <laughs> well, you know, you're, you're also, to be fair, you're also not super frequently in really dark environments. That's true. Um, There's usually at least some light. That's true. But this oh, is actually, a, I'm probably thinking of older. Yeah, this is a, like, battles. deep cavern. 
Um, it is pitch black back here. So um, find me to cast Pass Without a Trace when we get closer to sneaky stuff. Uh, so anyway, you've got this room. Um, you know, huge chamber, ceiling lost, high above you. The only one who can see the ceiling is um, Janara and Alina's body. Um, and if you had to guess, the ceiling's probably about 100 feet up. I mean, this is a huge, like, vaulted chamber um, with, you know, sort of stalag, uh tights hanging from the ceiling. Um, and these massive 50-foot-tall statues um, also. One of them is leaning sideways and is, like, hitting the wall. The other is standing straight. Both appear to be uh, robed figures of of some kind. Um definitely a cult. Great. Uh Nyx in Janara's body. Yes. Your passive perception is a 23. Correct. And Penny and Artemis's body, your passive perception is a 22. So the two of you notice way up sort of around like the the robed figures have sort of their arms crossed um on the one on the left of you you see this little glint of something metal up in its arms um and then i should also mention there's a sort of a, a 10 foot passage opening sort of ahead at the back of this large chamber um, but you see that glint of metal way up in the arms. Is it by a wall? Like, is the statue coming out of the wall, or is it a freestanding It's statue? a freestanding statue. If you're looking, if you're trying to use the monk ability to run up vertical surfaces, you could just do that on the no, statue. No, I just don't know if I want to touch the statue. So... I won't, who else saw that? Me. Can I detect magic? That's a good idea. Yeah, you cast That's detect magic. Oh, what was that? Why did I do that? So you can cast it once. Okay, got you. Um, and it's not a spell slot. Got it. Oh! So you cast detect magic. Um, the statue itself does not emanate any sort of magic. Um, whatever that metal thing up there is, is definitely magical. Okay. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up the statue. You sprint up the statue? Yeah, but, hang on, I'm gonna, guys, wait for me just a second. I'm gonna go see. There's a thing at the top of that statue that's metal. I'm gonna go see what it is, and then Don't I touch it. Okay. Well, you <laughs> dash up to the statue where the arms are sort of crossed. As you reach up there, you clamber over sort of the lip of the arms. You see a clockwork device. <laughs> well, that was helpful. Yeah. Um, I feel like nobody else would be able to, I, does, can I dig into my own memories and, like, confirm <laughs> which part it, this it, is? It, uh, yes, um, we'll just call this a flat intelligence check. Oh, God. Oh, you I'm know totally it's sorry. one, you know it's a piece of what you're looking for. You have to see if Janara knows is what you're looking for. And Janara's bad with intelligence. She was homeschooled by two. someone who was just a whoa, 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 whoa! Yikes! Yikes. Sorry, come on. Um, she was bad with you, intelligence because she was homeschooled. You, <laughs> you, uh, you, you have a fight, not a read. <laughs> you are unable to immediately identify which of them it is. It's weird, like. You're just 
they're not able to fire Janara's like synapses as easily as you would your own. Um, but you know it's a piece of the orrery of the Wanderer. You know it's one of the six pieces. Especially because you were told that there was one in an abandoned mine. In an abandoned mine. Oh. Um, okay. You remember that. Is there anything here that is going to help me? I mean, you could bring it down and see if something. I don't know if I want to touch it. It could be trapped. And I don't have my detect trap thing. You can look at it. Have I... Bowman pick up Nyx and have Nyx you launch him. Well, I could shot put Nyx up there. Well, no, because Bowman can fly. I oh, can unfortunately true. no longer fly. Oh. oh. I want for another. I'm just going to grab it. Hours. It's Nyx. Nyx does impo- Im- impulsive things, so I'm just going to pick it up. You pick it up. It's fine. So okay. You just let him there. And then um, I'm going to run back down. You're able to run back down with this piece of the orrery. Guys, guys, I found another, I found another bit, I found another part for my, my orrery thing. Um, I just cannot for the fucking life of me remember which piece this is. It's the clock part. They're all the clock parts. <laughs> oh, well, my bad. Where are you um, keeping the others? Hmm? Where are you keeping all the others? I'm pretty, I have a bag of holding, I'm pretty sure. Um, or it's in Bowman's bag. I can't remember. I think you only have just, one other part. I only have one other part. I can't check my inventory. I don't remember where I put it. Uh, well, let, me, let me check real quick. <laughs> I can put it in Bowman's Bowman bowl. starts emptying Nyx's pockets. <laughs> it, I believe the one that uh, Nyx already has is the dimensional loop. Yes. Nyx, did you know you were going to find it here? Did you remember that? I, I knew it was in an abandoned mine in Falkovnia, but I... No. Lamordia. In Lamordia. Uh, we are just... in There we go. You have it in your equipment. You have... It's, I have it. It's it's on you. Okay. Yes. I I knew that there was there was one in an abandoned mine here, but I didn't realize that this was the abandoned mine. I kind of thought that since there are people here, it wasn't abandoned. Um mm. it was recently abandoned. <laughs> it was recently abandoned. I don't know how long that prophecy has been around. Um or that prophecy. It wasn't really a prophecy. It was just information. I don't know where that, that woman got her information from. Um, but yeah, I have no idea what this piece does. Um, but uh Bowman, you might get a visit from a real creepy lady yeah. later. Only wait. On, only if he checks to it too. Oh, that's true. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was not prepared for a visitor, okay? So the last time when I... So maybe maybe just don't, like, look into it too much. Don't, like, try to try to meld with it. Um, Because the last time when I tried to, like, attune you know, to it... Um, Artemis really just told creepy... Penny not to do something, not to think about something, and now you're telling no, me not you, to do something. You can so... think about this. Just, oh. like, don't magically attune to it. Don't, like, sit with it. I don't even know what the process of attunement is. It seems like you just sit with it for a long time. Um, Because then a creepy lich appears to you. She's a little scary. So, again, I know I said this very recently. If you need to talk, we're here. No, it's fine. She said I was fine to do this stuff. She just kind of had to vet me. Hmm. Okay. Make sure that I wasn't gonna, I don't know, destroy everything. We don't, don't have a lot of ghostly visitors. We feel like we're very cursed. Yeah. Everyone who hasn't been haunted recently, please raise your hand. I mean, I wouldn't call what I experienced a haunting. That was just please the creator. <laughs> the creator of a thing that I'm looking at coming to visit me to tell me how to use the thing that I'm looking at. Uh, I mean, 
I don't I'm need- haunted by the ghost of my dead mother. Artemis is haunted by the sword. Bowman's haunted by his war crimes. Gennaro's haunted by Fear Kindler. Nyx is haunted by the Lich Clock Woman. And I, I think would- Lena is also being haunted, but that's none of our business because we don't know her like that. But she's always be doing some weird wistful yearning at the sky. Wistful yearning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we all are haunted. <laughs> I feel like the after the yearning, I wistfully yearn for fresh heat. And flying out of the tunnel in front of you, you see four floating heads with four oh, eyeballs, man. and then one larger floating head with a whole mess of tentacles and one giant eyeball. Ben was like, no, "We shut the light up, shoot it." <laughs> We uh, decided to have a fucking conversation <laughs> in the bad's lair. Yep. Uh, Whatever. As we do. As you do. Oh my god. I gotta stop clicking auto and auto roll an issue. Always auto rolls horribly. All right. No, no. You keep auto rolling. Yeah, you, so I you... do need dice for this session? Uh, I will be calling out character name because this is how it is in the combat tracker. So, Nyx, what'd you get for uh, this? Year? 15. A Artemis. Natural 20. Okay. For a 25. Nice. Janara. That's me. Um (laughs) 10. Bowman. Natural 20 for 20. Nice. Penny. Uh, 18. Nice. And Elena. Seven. All right. Great. Listen, we can't all clump together in the initiative. It's okay. Uh, if you're at the end, you get to help heal people. That's, that's right. true. That's Thank right. you. <laughs> um. All right. At the start of the initiative order, we have Artemis, then Bowman, then Penny, then Nyx, then finally the Beholder, who's the purple one. Then Janara, then Alina, then the four spectators who are the green ones. Bringing up the rear. So, first up in initiative is Artemis. Okay. Um, I definitely was not thinking about this during the break, even though I should have. So I'm just doing the same thing I've been doing, and we're going to do Eldritch Blast. Eldritch Blast fails. Oh, no! Motherfucker, this guy. Um, someone that knows D&D, can you tell me what that means? Are we... Do we know, Ben? <laughs> so, uh... uh they the- don't take... Penny, uh, in Artemis's body, you stand, you see this thing, you go to Eldritch Blast, and <laughs> it fizzles in the air. Um, the Beholder looks at you with its giant eye and just cackles madly at you. Does that mean no magic? At all? Artie, you're all magic! In the... <laughs> okay. 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 All right. Can I mean, I'm more I... than magic. Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, I'm going to walk away. I'm going to go whoop, 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 whoop. Here. Is that the end of your turn? Yeah. Great. You have bonus action. I, do you want me to do bardic inspiration? Is that what you're saying? I mean, this is up to you. He's your boy. But it's, now. Either, it's either Misty Step. Wait, or Healing Word or Bardic Inspiration. You can have a bonus. You can have a, you can a bardic hex to someone. Someone, it's not super useful in this instance. Okay. I will. You can also like hold on to your bardic. Sorry, you play play my character how you want, <laughs> but you can also hold on to your bardic inspirations to cancel attacks and lower their their role. Yeah. For the record, as we get deeper into these caverns, uh, I'm perfectly happy with you all having conversations about 
your oh, characters if you want to give each other advice. This is not the end of the cavern. No, there's a tunnel. <laughs> what? There's a tunnel on the map. <laughs> I just haven't uncovered any other rooms because you haven't gone in any other rooms. You're yet. gonna have to sleep, guys. And we're underwater. You're not <laughs> underwater. <laughs> and we're underwater. This is the worst day. Chaotic. All right. If we're not doing a bonus action, it's Bowman's turn. By which I mean it's Matt's turn. Okay. Uh, seeing the magic fizzle, that somewhat changes. This big old gross dude, is he close to the ground or is he... He came out of the tunnel and drifted 10 feet up. 10 feet? 10 feet up. Well, now I really wish I was still flying. Um, are any of them on flying. the ground? Um, I would say this one and this one are hovering about five feet off the ground, so you could probably reach them. I'm a really strong boy. I think I can jump an extra, plus the reach of the crowbar. Sure. I think I can get 10 feet off the ground. Right. So we're going to rush up to there. Okay. And then we will jump Air Jordan this, and we're going to smack him with a crowbar. Sure. Make an athletics check for me first. Not a super high number, but just, you know. Uh, It's a 16 plus some stuff. Good. Okay. Yeah, That's nine. Enough. Go ahead and make your attack roll. Great. That is uh, an 18 plus, uh, 28. 28, that hits. Great. I'm going to smite. Go for it. So that is a d12 plus a d8, correct? Uh, just basic. Yes, uh, just basic. D12 plus a d8. Automatic. Now, what level are we... Oh, wait, I meant to cast a thing first. It's a bonus action. I'm going to bonus action slip into this. We're going to do a blinding smite. Oh, interesting. Okay. We're going to... Yeah. So, that. And then... I mean, he's a real big boy. First level divine smite. Okay. Oh, and there as well. Okay. Do you need radiant damage differently? I do not. Great. One, two, and another D8, another D8. Great. Right? Yeah. Oops, that one came out. Oh. Okay. And what's a six? Twelve. Fifteen. It says two. Twenty-four. This one is thirty-one. Thirty-one damage. Great. And then the oh, blinding plus five. 36. Nope. Yes. Okay. Then the blinding smite. What's the save on that? That is a con 18. Con 18. Con 18. Okay. I'm really crossing my fingers that I get this 18 so that I don't have to figure out whether or not um, the smite uh, cancels out the anti magic though. Um. Mm, that's exactly an 18. Great. Okay. Darn. All right. Save it. Save it. Save it for at least one round. Uh, all right. <laughs> Great. I'm going to jump again and smack him again. Go for it. Um, Less. Uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. I think we're just going to hit this guy this time. Go for it. Crowbar. Oh, God. Seven. Plus a D8. Oh my gosh, thank you. Nine. Just so just two extra? Yeah. Great. 
All right. At the end of your turn, that brings us to Penny's turn. Okay. Um, I would have noticed when Art Artemis tried to do magic, mm -hmm. and it didn't work. Correct. And do I know that is is the revolver technically like? Is the light the lightning launcher is for sure magic? The lightning launcher is for sure magic. But the revolver might be the revolver i believe one. is a plus one so basically if you fired it within the cone um you would have to subtract one from your attack roll and from the game okay um can i tell where the cone is at all is there you, any indication i mean you cannot obviously as the player, you can, because I need the cone on the map to see where the cone is. Sure. Um, you are not exactly sure. Uh, you do What I will say, here's what I'll say, is that when you saw um, Bowman sort of move over to the side of this thing, and his smite went off just fine, and you know that the smite is divine magic. So... You don't think that magic is just completely canceled out in this room. You think there's a specific area where the magic effect, where the where magic doesn't work. Okay, then I'm gonna move. I guess up next to Bowman. Okay. Thinking maybe near him would be helpful, and then a uh, lightning launcher. Yeah. Go for uh, it. Make your deck rolls. That's a 26 to hit. That hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Um, 12, 18. And then I can I can do that three times, right? Yeah, you can do that two three, more times. Three, okay. Yep. So we'll just do that again. Uh, that's a fourteen. Misses. And then a nineteen. Hits. Okay. That one is a sixteen damage. Great. At the end of your turn. Yeah. That's. Oh. Okay, at the end of your okay. turn, the Beholder is going to take a legendary action. Ooh. And I need Ooh, to... Who said that they could do that? Uh, it's stat block. Take it up with Wizards of the Coast. Um, Dear Wizards. Dear Wizards. <laughs> you uh, now, I'm going to roll a d10 to determine what y'all are going to get. Nine. Okay. Uh... One of the eye stalks sort of is, you know, the eye stalks are all looking around in different directions while its sort of main eye is still facing the way you all came in. And one, as its eye stalks are looking around, one of its eye stalks sort of looks down at um, Bowman and sort of this beam of light, of, of dark, uh, a, a green light shoots out of this eye. Um, I need to make a deck saving throw for me. Oh, there's no way. Oh, 18. Surprising me, Bowman. 18. So that is a success. And... Oh, okay. That's just a success. You don't take any damage. Um... You dodge out of the right out of the way of this ray of light on um, right before it impacts you. Um and it hits the ground and a small hole appears in the rock floor. Uh that hole the hole then immediately fills with dust. Um <clears throat> that was fucking rude. Uh great. Uh that does bring us to Nix's turn. Okay. I am currently outside the cone, correct? Uh, yes, but you don't know exact. You wouldn't know exactly where it is. Okay. Well, I'm. I'm just saying, like, I'm 
Yes, you are currently outside the cup. Yes. Uh, the big purple guys, you said is suspended up in 10 feet up, 10 in, the feet air? up in the air. Yeah. Okay. So there's really no way I can do a sneak attack on him. Um, well, I mean, yeah, you, could, you can get yourself advantage. Wait, say that again. What? If you can get yourself advantage, you still get sneak attack. Um, uh, well, I'm just gonna advance. That's not what it's called. That's not steady aim. Oh, steady aim. That's Thank what you. I meant. Yeah. I'm looking at Janara's stuff and I'm like Uh that's just I just say that I'm gonna use steady aim, correct? Uh yeah, that's a bonus action. I will say steady aim means you cannot move. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, I guess I'll just hang out here. Um Steady aim, I'll pull out my... I can't two-hand my revolver and my pistol. Or can I? I mean, you could, but because steady aim is a bonus action, you can't get the gotcha. off-hand attack. Right. Okay. okay, then I'm just gonna like... do... Yeah. Gotcha. Alright, I'll just pull out my silent pistol then, and just start shooting them. Right, go ahead and make your attack roll with advantage. That is a 30. Yeah, that hits. Okay, great. Add your sneak attack to the uh, damage. All right, D10. Sneak attack is D6s? D8s. No, D6s. D6s. Five D6s. Good. Roll a dice box. Four and five. Okay. And from the pistol. And then a 22 from sneak attack. So what is it total? 22? It, in total is 32. 32, sorry, I didn't hear Oh, wait, it. plus, plus, sorry, plus my modifier, plus six, so 28. By 30, silent 38. Yes, thank you, yes. 38, great. You take very careful aim and bang, shoot this beholder, and it impacts, like, right at the corner of his big eye, and he lets out a... <laughs> Little it's now its turn. Um, the beholder. Well, first of all, first of all, the beholder is going to fly ten more feet up in the air. Oh. It's now twenty oh. feet up in the air. Um, second thing the beholder is going to do is it's going to fire three eye rays. Eye ray number one. We're going to fire at Nyx. And I'm going to roll a d10 to see which eye ray you get. Four. One, two, three, four. Could you make a dexterity saving throw for me? Am I close enough to Bowman? Nope. Dang. I believe it's 10 feet, so. Yeah. Oh, got okay, a nat 20. Nat 20, that's a success. Yeah. Second eye ray. Is gonna go to oh, uh it's gonna go to we'll say penny. Eight. I need an dexterity saving throw. Uh sixteen. Sixteen just succeeds. Oh thank Ooh, god. You dodged the right. <sighs> Third roll. This one's gonna go towards um, Artemis, let's say. Eight. Uh, that's a re-roll. Re-roll again. Nine. Dexterity saving throw from Artemis. That is an 18. 
18 is a success. We all dodge the rays because you're all fucking level 14. <laughs> um, <laughs> great. That brings us to Janara's turn. Um, Bubble Holder, if I'm looking at this properly, uh -huh. is right by a wall. Correct. I am going to... Well, how much movement do you have? Because it's yep, 20 mm -hmm. feet up. Uh-huh. Okay, I'm going to spend a key point okay. for Step of the Wind. Okay. And run up the wall. Okay. So, Where, I mean, it would have been fine. What exactly is your so, moment? Hang on, hang on. No. I don't think you need a key point. I don't need a key wall. point. I'll be fine. I have 45 feet of walking speed. Mm -hmm. So, I'll be okay. Okay. I need you to go through block by block your route. I go one. Nope, that's not me. Just kidding. But one, two, three, and then twenty feet up. Okay, that spectator is going to get an attack. Oh, I forgot that there's a guy there. Um, I did forget that. I don't believe he can do an eye ray as an attack of opportunity, but he's going to try to bite you. It's a twelve, so never mind. Uh, um, right, you run up the wall. Run up the wall, do some monk shit, and backflip onto the beholder with my daggers. Okay, yeah, make your attack rolls. Cool. Um, 27 to hit. 27 uh, hits. Oh, I should have moved the... He moved the anti-magic cone, by the way. Um, so that's nine points of damage. And then 25 to hit. That hits. That's six points of damage. And I am going to bonus action and just punch him. Okay, go for it. 22 to hit. That hits. Nine points of damage. Right. Now I'm on top of him. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, can I slide down? Sure. You can drop like, to the as I've, like, dragged the dagger and then... Like, sure. Cool. Yeah, you drop to the ground. Uh, you are fine. Um, at the end of your turn, he's going to use a, uh, legendary action Good. to try to eye ray you. I'm going to get 10. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Well, let's see if we can go well. Ooh. Um. Maybe it is. 10. <laughs> 10? Yes, it does go well. Great. But, 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 I have evasion, so I take half damage. What's half of a million damage? <laughs> Three. <laughs> All Any right. damage succeeding, succeeding over a thousand. So the total damage would be 58 yeah. necrotic damage. Halved to uh twenty seven. Yeah. No. Twenty. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Twenty nine to cross. All right. Um, as this bolt of dark, uh, like uh, black light, black. That doesn't energy. count as it's, missiles or anything like that, it right? It's not count as a missile. Okay. Good, good looking out though. Good looking out. Um, great. Uh, Elena. Um, Elena. Oh, 
would you do if magic isn't working? Would you would you try to just stab it? Although I don't know if I can get up there. Ooh, I don't. I mean, you're used to stabbing. I don't think that I've ever used Alina to do physical attacks. Maybe one time. <laughs> Um, I, I will say, again, based on the evidence of your eyes, you have seen if people moving around seems to get them out of um, whatever is stopping magic. And okay. Oh, and I'm out of it now. And the beholder okay. did turn um, to more, to better face the ones that were hurting it. And we get a um, sense that we understand where it's looking. I would say that... Or do we have to, like, suspend our disbelief on what we can... I would like, say we can play that, that game. I we would say that, that now well, I don't you get a that. sense that where its main eyeball is looking is where magic doesn't work. Okay. So if we, like, try to hit it from behind as an idea, we have a general sense for the time being. Yeah. That seems okay. all right. Yeah, from the sides or from behind, I would say. I'm going to cast Moonbeam. That worked last time. Wait. I'm going to try to cast it at 7th level. Damn. It's a Constitution 17 saving throw. Actually, I'll do it at 5th level. It's still a Concentration 17 saving yep. throw. Yeah, that is a non-natural 20. Dang. Oh, but it's still half damage. Yep. Um, that's rolling. Is that a thirteen damage? Thirteen. Okay. Great. At the end of your turn, he's going to use a legendary action. Uh, one of his eyeballs is going to point towards you, Alina, and we're going to see which one it gets. But whatever it is, I'm going to need a saving throw of some kind. A lot of them are dexterity, but there are, I swear there are ones that are another save. Um, one, two, three, four, five. I need a constitution saving throw. From who? From you. Me? Oh. Yes. I know. I'm it's still not used to it. Nope. Okay. Oh my god, I'm at 20 plus 5. Hey, well, 25. Oh, wait. I get, you actually get half damage on this. That's okay. That's something. That's fine. I'll take it's it. like, oh. You, you gave it half damage. It gives you half damage. That's right. <laughs> That's fine. All okay. is right in the world. Ugly, I'll say it. Wow. Uh, 44 total, half to 22. You take 22 necrotic damage as this Oof. green bolt of energy slams you in the stomach. Yeah. Do, do you have necrotic? Do you have any like immunities or something like that? Oh, do I? I vaguely uh, remember that at one point. It may have been a different campaign. It should be I a do. Time I have necrotic resistance. resistance. Does that mean anything? So you take it, you half that an additional half. So 23 turns to 11. whatever half of 23 is. Yeah, 11. <laughs> uh, yeah, great. All right, it's finally the spectators' Thank turns. You. They've been hanging out here this whole time. Um, but they can do stuff too. Um, they only get two eye rays, um, but they are going to do them. Gosh darn it. Um, this one here is going to do eye rays at Janara and Bowman. Eye ray one is at Janara. Can you make a con save for me? Kelly? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> I know. That's another two on the die. Plus five. You're next to Bowman. Okay, okay. Oh, I could have gotten... Okay. Sure. Um, That's 12. The plus five would have only gotten you to 15, so you can... Plus five, nice. 12 is a failure. Yep. Um, so you're going to go ahead and take... 
22 necrotic damage. Um, and then the second uh, ray from this one is going to hit Bowman. One, two, three. Bowman, I need a wisdom saving throw from you. Ooh, not great. Oh, Jesus. Okay. My wisdom saves are awesome. 19. 19 is a success. You are fine. Um, Orange Mr. one is going to target Nyx and Elena. Number one. Uh, can I get a wisdom save from Nyx? Oh. 16. 16 is a success. Uh, second one hits is targeting Alina. I got uh, another that 20. Oh, great. Plus that's for that's 30. a success. Um, Keep them coming. The yellow one is also targeting Nyx and Alina because two of you are in a man's anti magic home. Um, Nyx, I, Nyx and Alina, I need saving throws from both of you. Um, Nyx will say this one's a con save. Twenty-one. Twenty-one. That's a success. Stop rolling the same number. It can't do the same. Stop rolling the same number. It can't do the same one. Thank you. Jesus. Uh, can I get a wisdom save from Alina? If you yell at them, they will listen to you. <laughs> oh, that was not that was good. Thirteen? Thirteen just succeeds. Um, and then the blue one is targeting Janar and Bowman. Uh, Janara, I need a con save. With the plus five. And Bowman, I need a wisdom save. Janara? Thirteen. Thirteen just succeeds. Okay. Thirty-one. Thirty <laughs> Thirty-one succeeds. Spectators can't do shit. Um, okay. Now that we've gone through all of their eye rays, Artemis. I used my bonus action before my action, right? Yeah, you can do things in whatever order you want. Okay. Um, I want a misty step here. Misty step fails. No! Oh my god, that's so god damn it. I Ooh, forgot. Artemis goes to take a step and, and just goes. takes a normal step. He just clicks his just does a normal god. step and stumbles forward. This is literally why I don't use magic. It's not real. Then I'll walk my sad little ass over here like a little peasant, the 30 feet. Rich peasant. And then I will. Then um, can I? Wait, hold on. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Shit. 5, 10, 15, 20. 5, 10, 15. Okay. Can I cast Bane on the Beholder? And then no. these two spectators that are within my 30 feet. They have to do a charisma saving charisma throw. Saving throw. Okay, great. Beholder first. Beholder got a big number. Um, Is it over 20? Then it, then it fails or succeeds. Yeah, then it succeeds. Um, spectator, this one, uh, we'll do next. Hey, That's you know what would be 18. helpful? A gun. Um, Why does Artemis have a gun? He gave it to Nyx. <laughs> and that's a 13. 18, does an 18 succeed? No, that fails. Okay, so the spectators both fail, so they are banned. Also, he has finger guns. Eldritch Blast. Is there a I know, but... I wanted to use something else for once. What are you going to do? Well, these two spectators are banes now, so there we go. They're banged. Um, okay. Great. Bowman, that's you. Oh, fuck, that's me. Oh, <laughs> I in the yep. air. He's 20 feet now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to look over at Nyx. Uh, body Nyx. And say, uh, Bowman, he's really high. 
What do I do? Mm. Oh, God. Cool. <laughs> Range is not really my thing. Um, That's why I, I had the wings. wings. Yeah. <clears throat> I used the wings. Used the wings. It looked cool, but I used the wings. Um, Generally, if I'm stumped, just try to put it in the portable hole. That's usually my ammo. <laughs> oh, I put That's other cool. things in there earlier. Could you um, aid... Use the help action? I don't know. There are also the spectators. No one has hit a spectator. Yeah, I'm going to move over. <laughs> no one gonna, cares about the spectator. I'm going to go after the guy that's on the ground. <laughs> Great. I want to take the crowbar. There's a little hook at the end of a crowbar. Yeah. Famously. I want to take it, and I'm oh. going to try to hook one of the eye stalks and twist it in a way that I get it looped cool. around nicely and just yank. I want to rip it off. Okay, yeah. yeah. This feels very Bowman. Yeah, that does feel very Bowman. Um, okay, well, let's just do a normal attack roll first, and let's see how much damage you do. And then we'll see if you succeed in ripping that thing off. That's a 29 to hit. That hits. <laughs> I am running low on spell slots. I'm not going to use a spell, a smite, for this You boy. do always have improved smite automatically. But yeah. I always get at least a little little Smith's might. Okay. Little old D8, yeah. Little something. Little something, something. That is a 20 points of damage. Yeah, I say you rip one of the eye stuff. <laughs> Great. I'm going to stick that in my Great. You have an eye stock. Second attack, I'm going to try and do it again on another eye. Go for it. Make another attack roll. Uh, 16 to hit. That hits. Great. Uh, 5 points of damage. Up oh, 10. Did you roll the d8? I did, sadly. Wow. Two and a 3. Wow. Alright, it's still alive. You did not rip off a second eye stock. Yeah, that's fine. Um, do I have bonus actions that are worthwhile for us right now. What does a shield of faith do? Eh, we're okay. Uh, Nyx is just gonna see that, and oh, you can always bonus action so the next, you can always bonus action smite, so the next time you hit them it hurts even better. That's true. Uh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Well, with that... Running really low on spell slots, and I'm afraid something else is going to come out of that hole, and it's not a portable hole where fun things come from. You uh, have... That's... Also, you can bonus action... There, Bowman has an ability to regain spell slots. Oh, you... mother of pearl. Okay. <laughs> you can do... You can get two, Where is that? I will let you... Heart is divine that. power. <laughs> uh, I, yeah, you can do that for your bonus action. Um... We're going to bring us to Penny's turn, however. Penny. Yeah, um, because it's looking at me, and I think I realized that I don't like that. If I move, like, here, yeah. actually, here, does that give it an opportunity attack? To... Nope, because it's 20 feet up in the air. Oh, shoot. Okay, so, yeah, I'm going to move here. I can't do two weapon fighting with the revolver and the rapier. What is uh, it? You can with the revolver and the rapier, which would be a total of four attacks. Okay. So can I can I do like a two weapon fighting to hit the small guy, the the orange one? Yeah. And then I still get three attacks per action. Could I then use the lightning launcher on the big one twice? No. I appreciate the hustle, but no. <laughs> I just um, don't... I'm trying to understand how it works. So, so two-weapon fighting, you have to have, for all of the attacks on the two-weapon fighting, okay. you have to have 
uh, light weapons, or uh, you have you basically have to have one hand weapons in both hands um, okay. the entire time. It would is a total of four attacks at the level you are at, but you cannot use any of those attacks to use the lightning launcher. Okay, they have so to either be revolver or rapier. Is it like two attacks with the like primary hand and two with the secondary hand weapon? Then. It it can be whatever combination you want it to be, I'll say. You know, you can do one attack with the rapier and three attacks with the revolver if you want, or vice versa, or evenly split. Okay, um, I'm just I'm gonna do two of each. I'm gonna shoot the big guy with the revolver twice, and then stab the guy behind me, the orange little one. Right. With the rapier twice. Let's do your revolver attacks first. Go ahead okay. and roll those attack rolls for me. Uh, 20. 20 hits. Okay. That one. Wait, I gotta get different dice for that. That's a different... Sorry. Nope, you're good. There's another... I need... I know I have more than one. Okay. Um, That's a 13 plus 6. 19 damage. Okay. Um, And then another revolver attack. Uh, 26... That hits. Um, and then that one is 14 damage. As you come around, you sling the lightning launcher back over Penny's shoulder, pull out revolver and rapier at the same time. The rapier, I believe, is still the one that is kept hidden in the umbrella. Um, so you pull the umbrella handle out, and it becomes a rapier, um, and you fire these two revolver shots. One hits the beholder in the side of the head. It turns its main eye towards you right as you fire the second shot, which goes into the middle of its main eye, immediately killing the beholder. Oh, sick. Bye. I did it. You nice. did it. Yeah! Um, and that's why we all should have guns. I'm, I'm getting I've never a gun used for this thing before. It's crazy. So, if you Penny's guys, gonna have found the NRA. I, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna say, if you guys want to play things out with the spectators, you are more than welcome to. But also, given that their saving throws are 13, I will just say that you can mop them up easily enough. Nice. Um, yeah. We so dispatch of them. Let's let's hand wave that and you dispatch of the spectators. Politely. Oh. Scene wipe. <laughs> I was like, I, I will say, for the record, for everybody watching at home, I was like, I've got to have a beholder in here somewhere, but God, they are too high level to fight a beholder. And I thought vainly adding more targets would make it a little <laughs> No, we just went for the, the big one. That's always what we scary. do, because once the big one's gone, the little ones run away. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, but anyway. Battle over. So, I'm just gonna throw out... <clears throat> I'm just gonna Leap. throw out there. Um, our domes, if there are more of those things, they cancel out magic. Uh-huh. So we probably, I mean, we can set them up, but we need extra watch. Well, hmm. how long would it take to just leave the mines and come back? Well, you could just have people on watch. We don't know how inside far into the, the domes. Mines. Yeah, hold on. We <laughs> might have just done the whole thing, too. Right. We that seems see unlikely. But... Yeah, why don't we I mean, check? that was a big, scary thing. That was a big, scary thing, but I feel like we fought bigger, scarier things. There's a, there's a tunnel there. I just, I feel like there's probably going to be more. How do we know if we've actually solved this problem? Because we don't actually know what the cause of this problem is. Like, we defeated the things that everybody out there said came out of the hole. So... Well, is there anywhere... There are other tunnels. Like, we should probably just check the rest yeah. of the tunnels to make sure they're clear. And they, you know, the frog guys did mention some weird god thing. 
Maybe that was their god. I mean, they weren't. I very... don't know that I've ever heard of a beholder being a god, but anybody from Waterdeep may make a history check for me. Hey, is that in our current bodies or our original? Your mind. Your mind. Your original body. There's no way. 16. 16. 15. Well, 15. Bowman, 15. you lived all of history. How do you have a plus two? <laughs> you lived all of history? That's why my wisdom's so good, okay? Oh. <laughs> I Darn didn't it. remember any of it. That was so funny. It's not even worth mentioning when I rolled. So <laughs> nobody got uh, nobody got anywhere close to a 20 then. Is what I mean, I was four off. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so okay. I'd be rolling with Penny's history or Artie's history? You'd be rolling with Artie's history. Oh. Oop. Hold on here. Do you want to roll for it? Yeah, I do. Hold on. Oop. Oh, wait. I'm 16. Not... Nope. 16. Yeah, Bones now also not from Waterbeat. Yeah, I had no liberty to roll there. In either body, neither are from Waterdeep. Yeah, you lived in water. I would say uh, both bodies lived in Waterdeep. So basically everybody but Elite. Everybody but Elite never could been there. for that. And none of you got a 20. Um, so, uh, yeah, no. Um, See, Ben, that's what you should have more uh, to uh, amp up the difficulty is have us roll for things like history and medicine and <laughs> or animal handling. It depends. Yeah. Look, it depends on when things come up. Okay, <laughs> this was an opportunity for a history check, so I called for one, and we weren't good at it. And you weren't good at it. Nope, we're not the smartest. Nope. That's okay. We hit good. Um, so, do we want to do watches? Do we want to check the tunnel? Do we want to walk out and sleep and then come back? Do we want to... Well, how is uh, everyone feeling? I, I, how long have, have we been, been awake? Better. I, I mean, would say at this point, you're like well into the evening, so it wouldn't be unheard of if we went to sleep. I mean, I, I think some people have lost health. A lot of us have lost spell slots. I think we can just sleep here take watch sure i mean i don't need to sleep i can just meditate and yeah i, I think you piss off your kindler again a couple hours of like meditation where you're not really there though oh that's true that's true yeah yeah you can take two watch you I th- yeah two you can take two watches watch who yeah. is the other person with tiny hut Artie and alina yeah Okay, so do we want, I mean, Alina, do you want to take, set up the hut first, and I'll do first watch, and then I'll set up the hut, hut and you do second watch? Do you normally overlap? Okay? Yeah, you guys normally overlap. Oh, that's both. right. So the watch, you have to stay inside the hut for the hut to stay up. But you right. can take you watch while the hut is up. We yeah. can see through the hut? Yeah, yep. you can see through the hut. Oh, I do. Okay, okay. let's do that then. I'm okay. casting it. You both tiny hut up. Um, hut up. Hut up. Hut up. Uh, <laughs> and it fails because there's another beholder waiting in the tunnel. Shh. Don't give him any ideas. Yeah, can we see a little <laughs> farther down in the tunnel? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can peer down the tunnel. The tunnel. The tunnel? Um, oh. As you peer down the tu- down the tunnel... Um, you know, you sort of see this smaller chamber, um, beyond, with further tunnels to the left and right. All right, great. But you don't see any monsters in there. Okay. Let's sleep here before we, let's sleep here before we, uh, go investigate. Agreed. Good plan. Yeah. Right. 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 It's tiring being a magic user and all your spells just stop. Um, who's taking the first watch? Uh, I can. Great. 
I can also take the first watch. Okay. Um, Bowman, Nix, Bo, Bo, Bo Nix. Bix. He's going to win the Heisman Trophy this year. Uh, Bo Nix, um, and, uh, uh, Janara Lena. Um, Delina! Delina, uh, oh take the first watch. Who's taking second watch? I will. All right. I'll take second watch, too. Great. And then Elena, I guess that means you would rest during second watch and then be on third watch. Um, and who else is on third watch? Penny. Great. Um, you all settle in for the night. Bowman in Nix's body and uh Janara in Elena's body, you're on first watch. Go ahead and make perception checks for me. Dirty 20. Dirty, Dirty 20. 20. Great. 20s. Um, Filthy. You don't see or hear anything. Um, it's just quiet in these caverns. But you get the sense, like, this uneasy sense that there is something dreadful at the heart of these caverns. Eight. Um, but your watch passes without incident. Uh, second watch. Uh, go ahead and roll perception check for me. Thirty twenty. Thirty. Uh, once again, no. Um, neither of you sense anything. Um, but the. It does feel like something dreadful is coming to be part of this. And actually, with a 30, I will say, um, you get the sense with a 30, you can't really hear it, but you, you feel this thrumming from somewhere deep in the caverns, almost like a heartbeat. The rumming. Third watch. Uh, roll perception checks for me. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, ten. Ten. Um. Yeah, you don't sense anything. As you all sort of finish your long rest, the, the domes dissipate. You're all sort of getting ready to continue your expedition into these caverns. All of a sudden, a vision washes over all of you. You see a group of humans and gnomes dressed in fur standing on a cliffside. They watch as a shooting star plummets closer and closer to the icy mountains before you. It slams into the side of the mountains with an explosion of rock and energy. The hum these humanoids dressed in fur all sort of look around at each other and then start like rushing down the hill towards the source of this crash. And the vision ends. Well, that was weird. Yeah. Did you guys see that? Was that like yeah. the first ore dropping from something scaly? Maybe. Maybe. Or did you guys get that weird feeling last night? No. Yeah, feeling something. Nothing. I felt like a heartbeat thing coming from the caves. Love that. Yeah. Ooh. Gross. Like, I couldn't feel it, but I could just, like, feel it, you know? Like, I couldn't, I didn't touch the ground and feel it, but I felt like, 
a weird heartbeat sense. I mean, that could also just be effect of, you know, switching bodies. We're still kind of used to that. True. It could be a heartbeat that I'm not used to. There's or unseekable horrors. Yeah. Either one. Definitely something weird here. So we have to investigate tunnels. Yeah. Crap. We should probably take this nice and slow. Wow, I'm a cowboy. <clears throat> I, we should, say, I oh, wish we had a nice we rousing be speech this before nice. we left. Oh, yeah. Um... <laughs> Um, um, we are great explorers. We have so much experience and knowledge and we're good fighters. Uh, and we got some pretty good investigators and good magic users and good like fisticuffs fighters in our group. We're gonna, we're gonna figure out this mystery and get the creepy doctor lady her or yeah yeah <laughs> 15 temporary hit points nice right with that you begin venturing deeper into these caverns and we will end tonight's episode with Thank you all for playing. Thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time. Have a good night.